slowly creeping towards you, suddenly into view, a little bit of eye shine in the darkness. You see an owl bear. This is a, a 10, 15 foot tall monster. It looks like an owl, but it has the body of a bear. It opens its beak and squawks at you. What do you do? Have I ever met an owl bear before? Like, are owl bears? On a recent appearance on the Real Ones podcast, Deborah Ann Wall had possibly the best explanation of D&D that I've ever seen in a video or heard in a podcast. Whenever I'm listening to a podcast or watching a video and someone is trying to explain D&D, I never understand why they just don't do like a game slice where they kind of show like, well, what D&D is. And the reason I think about that is because Gary Gygax actually attempted to do that very thing during an interview once. Could you and I play this game? Certainly, instantly, right now. You wanna play d and I mean, I'll try. I mean, what do you think no, I'd like, be able to do it? No, like, literally right now. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll assume that you'll be what profession? What would you like to be? So, you, what do you see? You've got a bow strapped to your back. And suddenly there's a huge bronze door before you with a, a big door knocker on it, a big ring that obviously opens the door and serves as a knocker also. Do you, do you want to turn around and go back the other way? Open the door? Uh, knock first, what would you like to do? So you're walking through the woods. It's dark, it's at night. Mm -hmm. Almost no moonlight is coming through. You hear a crack off in the distance. Mm -hmm. Something large stepped on a branch. What would you do? What would you do? Man, it doesn't that just sum up what I personally enjoy about Dungeons and Dragons. It's just amazing to me that two interviews 45 years apart touch on some of the same things. The Gary Gygax interview on Tomorrow with Tom Schneider from 1979, I'm going to link that below in the description. That was uploaded to the Playing at the World blog in 2017 by John Peterson, an author who contributed to a lot of amazing projects, including Heroes Feast, which is one of my favorites. That interview has been kind of stuck in my head uh, since 2017. And of course, I'm going to link below for the Real Ones podcast with John Barenthal. I'll link you both the podcast and the YouTube full video of this interview. It's a great interview. You should go and check that out as well. Also, frankly, I was going to make some jokes about the host of the podcast of Real Ones, John Barenthal, but uh, quite frankly, uh, I don't want to get into a fight with another dude from Baltimore. And before anybody says it, yeah, I know he's not from Baltimore. In a very real way, if somebody's from Maryland, then they're 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 from Baltimore too. And that that's maybe not a great guy to to poke fun at. I'm just I'm just thinking to myself. I don't know if I don't I don't really know that guy that much. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you some chicken. I'll get you some chicken boxes the next time you're in New Hampshire. Okay, it's, it's cool. <laughs>